What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000, back in the place to be, and welcome to King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match Online, a brand new hero collector officially licensed from SNK. So let's jump right into it. Now, before I get started, I am extremely biased when it comes to this IP. I've played the SNK franchises for years and years. I'm talking World Heroes, uh, Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, and of course, King of Fighters. So I'm, I'm kind of biased when it comes to this IP, but I'm not blind, all right? So let's be clear. This game is such a standard hero collector. It doesn't really do anything very interesting at all. At the end of the day, it's a hero collector that you've seen many, many times before with the King of Fighter characters on it. But before we get started, let's talk about this name for a second. Why on earth? Now, I understand why they call it King of Fighters 98, but when I first saw this game in the store, I was like, oh, this is just like an emulated version of the original, like, King of Fighters 98. I thought it was just the fighting game. I didn't know it was a hero collector. So I think the title is going to kind of, uh, a lot of people aren't gonna know what they're looking at when they see the title and they're not probably even gonna download it. And based on the fact that this game has only been downloaded 5,000 times so far, from a game that's officially licensed from SNK, from a massive IP like the King of Fighters, I have to think that that title has a lot to do with it because like I said, I almost didn't even click on it. So. Let's talk about the game. Let's start off with, of course, your, your really standard hero collecting um, uh, hero screen here. Um, you have your campaign mode that has your basic story along with an elite mode. Once again, I'm not showing you guys anything you haven't seen before. Let's jump in and show you a little bit of combat here so you can kind of see how the game works. Um, if you've ever played uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise, it works just like that. So it's all about timing. So right before the circle hits the inner jewel, whatever that thing is, if you time it right, you get yourself a perfect and do more damage. That's basically how the combat works. Um, you can play the game on autoplay, but of course they're not gonna they're not gonna perfectly combo very well. So it's not gonna be too. It's, it's not just it's, it's it's still gonna get you through the the matches but it's just not gonna get you through the matches with the, the most damage done and the least amount of HP loss. So you really kind of only wanna use auto on matches that you can already defeat pretty easily. Um, as you can see, if you look at the bottom of your screen, if you look at Kim and Kayo here, they have skill lit up. So watch watch when I do a basic attack with Binimaru here. So just a basic attack, nothing special, but when there's a skill lit up, they will actually do one of their trademark skills there. There you go. And of course, there's also an ultimate as well, but I think I'm not gonna be able to, yes, I will. I thought he might die before I can do an ultimate. And then the last ability that the characters have, so they have a basic attack, they have a skill, which is, like I said, usually their iconic, most popular move that they do, and then you have an ultimate here. And that's basically combat. And like I said, there's an auto, there's a times two, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna go through, you're gonna three star all of the uh, all of the different matches. Stop me if I'm telling you something you guys have never seen before. Ah, uh, oh man, I'm getting a freaking tutorial here. All right, well, it's about to tell me about something. The equipment chest. Yeah, let me get a free. Ah, oh, great, I got Awakening. All right, so I just unlocked Awakening, but whatever. Um, so that's basically the campaign right there. Um, there is a guild system in the game as well. It's called the Club. Um, so you can go in here, you can donate um, to your guild. Like I said, I'm kind of short on money, so I'm not gonna donate. And then you can do special little mini games to kind of get you um, different fragments and different equipment and different mats throughout the game. So I can play this little game with Yori here. And uh, yeah, I'll just keep that because that's terrible. So roll the dice. Basically what I'm trying to get is, ooh, that's pretty good. So let's try to re-roll, see if we can get all Iori's face here. Probably not. Oh, look at that. Nice. So I get one little fragment from Iori. Thank you. Thank you for my one frag. And that's basically that game right there. This game is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> this is called Billy's Stick. All right. So basically what you want to do is you want to whip out your stick, but you don't want to make it too big, okay? You don't want to make your stick too big um, because if you overshoot, then you die. But you can undershoot all you want. So as long as you just make it to the platform, you get the material, but you don't want to overshoot, all right? So you can kind of do this. As long as you're good, I think you can kind of just keep on just doing this for like almost indefinitely. <laughs> 
But eventually, oh, see, I almost screwed up there. See, this one's a little tricky, right? Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. It's pro, pro gaming skills right there, everybody. <laughs> and of course, this will get you some Billy Kane fragments. Almost overshot that one a little bit. There's my highest record. This is, oh, I, oh, <laughs> anyway, so that's that mini game right there. Now, the mini games might be something unique that you've never seen before, but the rest of the game is pretty, like I said, box standard. Ah, oh, I want some King fragments. Ah, uh, King's like one of my favorite characters in the series. Anyway, so that's that. So that's campaign mode. That's club mode, which I said is basically a guild. There is a chat system, um, but yeah, who's, who's reading this? <laughs> who, who's reading that? So that is that. Of course, there is a gotcha system built into the, built into the game. You will get free rolls throughout the day. There we go. Nice fragment there. And then, of course, do I... Oh, I have enough to do a 10. Let's do a 10 pool, everybody. Let's do this. All right. Let's see what we get here. Got a bunch of frags, and I got Yamazaki. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, look at this. This is something I didn't know. So if I use all of these characters together, if I use Yamazaki, Binimaru, Kim, and uh, Daemon, I get HP plus 20. So that's actually pretty cool, okay. This game loves trying to get you to put things to Facebook. I really want Vice though. Vice is one of my other favorite characters. <laughs> I really love Vice. Um, I really like King. I like Ryo. I like Robert. I like a lot of the characters from this franchise. So it pains me to say that the game is just not very amazing, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so that's basically that. If you go to Elite Mode, this is kind of where you'll get fragments and things of that nature. Once again, nothing that you've never seen before. Um, you have quests and daily quests that you can unlock as you play through the game. One thing I have to kind of mention that the, the optimization of the app is really bad. Um, you really can't see here in the video, but when you click on things, everything is just very delayed. Um, oh, look at this, I got a key. You open that. Thank you for the 50k gold. I appreciate that. But everything you click on is very delayed. Nothing is very smooth in the game. Um, it just feels like they kind of cobbled together this um, game very quickly, unfortunately. But yeah, everything is just so... Just... I, I want to use the word sticky, but that's kind of what I feel like. Everything you click on just doesn't click instantly. Everything is just slow. Uh, but this is kind of the upgrade system. I'll kind of give you a quick view of this, um, of the upgrade system. Basically, you have armor and gear that you collect throughout the game. Um, you can upgrade it by finding materials from stages. Once again, nothing you've never seen before. You have soda here to upgrade your character. So if I got, got Yamazaki here, who's a four star, so definitely has to be on my team. I'll give him some soda, give him some quick levels. There you go. I can promote him, like I said, using this gear. Now he's Yamazaki Green. Now he's gonna be Yamazaki plus one. And then of course the next one will be Yamazaki plus two. And then he'll be a blue Yamazaki, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the system here for evolving. So I need to get um, 98 more fragments to boost him up to the next star level. Um, in this game, the game goes up to seven stars. Um, and then you have a skill system that refreshes on a timer. So as you can see, I have three skill points, two skill points, one skill points, and then in after five minutes goes by, I'll get another skill point there. I hate this, I hate this system, by the way. Because when you're not online, or when you're sleeping, for example, you're just wasting skill points. <laughs> because, like I said, the skill points refresh on a timer. So it's just super, I, don't, I hate that system so much. And a lot of games do that. So that's, that's basically the upgrade system. That's the campaign. I showed you the club. Um, as far as PvP is concerned, it is completely autoplay. So, you know, to be expected. Um, this way, it's kind of fair for both sides. So it just plays out in autoplay fashion here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course, Athena heals, butt naked. <laughs> you know, I'm not mad at the, like I said, the IP is great. I think it's a good IP for this style of game. I just wish they would have tried a little harder. Just a little bit harder, you know? The sprites look really good, but the animations are, yeah. The sound effects aren't very good at all. The app is just really poorly designed. There's this mode in this game called uh, Ultimate Trial, which is basically this ladder mode. But you can't do it because your game will cr basically almost crash. <laughs> when you try to do Ultimate Trial, you'll go down to like two frames per second while you do it. It doesn't make any sense. 
There you go. Nice little heal there, but naked wide. There we go. Good old Kim K. Pawan. I mean, like I said, though, the fact that all of my favorite characters are here, it makes it really hard for me to, to hate the game. I just wish it was better. Now, of course, you'll get points for doing arena that you can use in another a separate shop, an arena shop. And of course, you get all kinds of goodies as you go through um, the arena ranks. Oh, mature and vice. Mm, I really, I kind of want these vice frags because vice is amazing. So I'll buy those. And then here, here's the cooldown here. So in, in another three minutes, I can do another PvP match here. You get five of these per day. Um, so that is that. And then last but not least, here are the KO challenges. Um, here's the ultimate trial that I told you about. Watch, hopefully you guys can see it in the video. Look at the FPS now. <laughs> FPS has dropped to like six frames per second. Now once you actually go to somebody, it's okay. The frames per second shoot back up, but like in that screen, it just is just terrible. But yeah, basically this is a big massive ladder that you'll go up. And I don't really need to control this manually because it's not. I'm pretty. I'm, oh look at look how awesome Joe looks. Like I said, man, he, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So like I said. The IP is the only reason to play this game. There's there's no other reason to play the game. And even that, even the IP, I don't think is a good enough reason. I, I don't, I, I can't really recommend the game. I really can't. Um, I'm playing it, but don't, don't do the things that I do. Oh my God, look at the lag. So anyway, you go up this freaking tower here and you can use points to buy different, uh, uh, um, what do you call these things, buffs? What's going on here? I don't know what's happening. It's, oh my god, the AI is just terrible. Or not the AI, the FPS is so bad. And then you go in here, you fight matches, you get uh, loot and whatnot as you go up the, the ladder. So that's that. And then last but not least, there's this cool event stage here. This is where we'll end the video. We'll do it on easy. And here we go. Oh, you know what's about to happen. This Hummer's about to get it. <laughs> of course, you don't want to do this on autoplay. You want to try your best to get as many perfects as you can. There's kind of a rhythm that you can kind of get with it. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to try hard and I screwed up there. There we go. Let's knock it out, FG. I wonder if you can do your ultimates on these stages. Not sure. My bar is building up, though. I just don't know if I have enough time to build it up. Ah, oh, freaking great. Dang it, I'm not gonna be, a, still not powerful enough to defeat this Jeep. Hummer. Car. Vehicle. Yeah, I think that's the last round. So yeah, still not powerful enough to defeat it, but as you go on, it'll get harder and harder and harder. And you can do that twice per day. And it looks like there's room for more and more um, different types of uh, little challenges in the future. So that is that. And that's pretty much the game, guys. That is a uh, King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match Online. <laughs> Who named this? Free oh my God. Um, I think I wanna, um, I might drop Yuri. Let's drop Yuri and um, change my formation and let's put in Yamazaki here. Get out of here. How, how, do you, how do I, get out of here. Oh, this is just the formation. Where is my team lineup? So I just got my, what, what is going on? YouTube? <laughs> how do I put you in my starting lineup? How do, how do I do this? I gotta figure this out. Change, there we go. So let's change out Yuri here. You cute and all. There we go. All right, so I got this Meteor Garden as my fate, which gives me plus 20 HP. That's kind of cool. Luckily, the game does have some quality of life features. Um, so you can instantly equip all your equipment at the same time. You can't promote it all at the same time, but at least there's a quick promote feature here so you don't have to click it you know, over and over and over. So that's that. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. This is King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match Online. I don't know why I need to say it again, um, but this is available on the Android store, most likely on the App or a Apple store as well. Um, so check it out. Um, like I said, based off of the, the download so far on Android at least, it's only been downloaded 5,000 times. So not super popular of a game. 
And uh, these games really need to be popular to be fun. Um, they're not really fun if they're not popular and they're not getting a lot of traction because then the game's not going to be updated and you're just kind of wasting your time. Oh, look at this. I can upgrade. I can, uh, ooh, look at that. Let's do that. You do not have enough. Oh. This is HP. I want to upgrade this weapon. How do I get more of this? Oh, I got to get it out of here. Ah, oh, the plot thickens. <laughs> All right. Any, anything else cool here that I want to buy? Got some chain frags, some Athena frags. Of course, Mature, Vice, we've already looked at. There goes Ryo there, there's King. For 50,000, I get one frag. Sure, why not? I'll buy I'll buy King frag. Already bought some of this gear. It's low level gear though. Can port. All right, so I think that'll pretty much cover it. Then you got this little floating cat right here. That's basically uh, a special shop that comes throughout the day. But it's all gems, so meh. Oh yeah, the game does have a VIP system, so yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of annoying at the same time as well. I hate when games like lock away features behind VIP. So you can't, like let's say you want to raid or sweep whatever lingo you like to use, a stage like five times. You can't do that unless you have like VIP four. And then you can do like the raid times 10 option or the raid times three option. You can't do that unless you're VIP four. Um, so that's kind of annoying. There's all, all sorts of different features for VIP. And as you can see, you can get um, characters as well. If you keep going, you get a Yori like way at the end here. There he is. Get a bunch of fragments. I think it goes, I think it keeps going. VIP 15. <laughs> so yeah, that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you do want to kind of check the game out, however, there's a lot of freebies that you get for logging in. So I got Benny Morrow for free, and it looks like I'm going to get Leona at the end there. Um, I got Damon there as well. So you get them pretty quick. So two day, first day you get um, Yuri right off the bat. You get Damon after that. You get Benny Morrow after that. Um, so you get characters pretty quick based off of just logging in. Um, so there's a lot of free stuff going on because, like I said, the game just came out. Um, but, eh. I'd be a little wary about spending money in this game, <laughs> but that's that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. My name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Later.